Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Now, since you guys have clicked on this video, obviously you want to know how you can prepare for your CXC exams and basically you want some advice. So before I get into this video, I have some other videos on my channel that are related to CXC. So if you guys want to go and check them out. For example, um, how I got a grade 1 with distinction in cultural science, how to get a grade 1 in all your CSEC subjects, 5 common mistakes CSEC students often make, how to pass CSEC math, the realest advice ever. So I have other videos on my channel, so if you guys want to go and check those out, you can. They'll all be in the description down below. Okay, so guys, in today's videos, my advice to you guys now, CSEC students of this year. So I've basically like gotten some like commonly asked questions, right? Let's say that. So before getting into the, the main stuff, let me just answer these questions. So the first thing that I've been asked is um how like how to prepare for your CXC exams basically. That's the first thing. Now the videos that I have on my channel, I have basically um, said whatever like I what I base I have basically said whatever I like know in those videos but that's a lot of videos like it's a lot of videos just like I said peace here peace here peace here peace here and honestly it'd be like too much like for you to just go through all those videos just to hear what I said but so guys I decided to put it in this video like how to prepare for your CXC exams and some advice for you guys doing your CAC subjects this year and also the topics that CAC released are they credible so I did um CXC last year in 2021 right so I did last year in 2021 and CXC did provide broad topics um for the 2021 CAC students the set basically and those broad topics are for the paper too in my knowledge they are for the paper too Right? So the paper one um, questions, the paper one exam would be based off um, would be based off basically everything in the syllabus, uh, the general stuff, all of, basically all of the syllabus. But the broad topics were for the paper two. Now, are those broad topics credible? Based on my experience doing CXC last year, where they provided broad topics, I would say that it's very credible. Like it's what they said basically. But the thing that some people may not understand is that those topics that CSC gave, they are broad topics. They are broad topics. So CSC, so for example, um, they might put something about animal. I'll use agri again. Agri as an example. Animal nutrition, right? Animal nutrition. That's a broad topic. So it means that something within that topic, they are going to ask you something on it, like serious thing. They are going to ask you something. On it. So now people might think that oh these broad topics you just need to know like one thing for these topics but CSC can just take anything from that broad topic basically right but those broad topics actually help you to pass your CSC exam because it's not like you don't know what's going to come on the exam like you know what's coming you know what's coming on that paper too. So you have an opportunity to better prepare yourself. So for example, if CSC never give those broad topics, you would be like studying the whole entire syllabus, just everything. And at this moment, we don't have time for that. Nobody has time for that right now. So those broad topics will definitely help you to study faster and also focus your attention on what they're asking. So if, in, for example, in the broad topics, they said animal nutrition is coming. But, for example, they said animal nutrition is coming, but something about, I'll just use photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is not in the broad topic, so why are you going to waste your time on that topic when it's not there, right? That's what I mean, basically. So, I would say that those broad topics are very credible, okay? So, you just have to go in depth on those broad topics, just ensure that you know something, in those broad topics right just know something basically okay so now let's get into the main points main tips main advice for this video so the first okay the first advice or the first tip now is past papers so it's very important for you to do past papers now um i see like people are asking or they don't know where to get past papers 
So guess what? You can get past paper as at um, cxpasspapers.com. I've seen like they have they have like from most um, CXE subjects, most of them. The one subject that I did not see on their website, well, that I kind of noticed they didn't have was um, family and resource management. So they don't have any family and resource management past papers on their website. But CSEC past papers. So anything, any other subject besides. Um, Family and Resource Management, you can check csecpasspapers.com. For HSB, General Biology, Chemistry, Physics, Foods, um, POA, what, POB, Social Studies, they have it, basically. So, you can check out csecpasspapers.com. And also, sometimes we might not realize, um, or realize, like, we don't really realize the resources that are readily available to us. So even on YouTube, so you know what? We are kind of like closer to exam right now, right? We're closer to exam right now. So what I did when I was studying for my CSC exams, what I did was this. I did like, I used to like print out these, I used to print past papers, especially for mathematics, like the past papers, the paper twos, and the paper ones, I print them and do them for mathematics. No, I do them like some of them. But no, you see, when it came down near to exam, like even a one week until like my exams, what I would do is this. I would go on YouTube, write in YouTube, and write in CSEC, um, I would write in CXC past papers, mathematics on YouTube. Just write that. CXC mathematics past papers. And I'd watch the teachers work the questions, like the, for the paper ones, for the paper twos. I'd just sit down and watch. The teachers work the questions right that's what i would do so as i was saying you now when it came like near more near or more closer to exam what i would do is this i'd watch on youtube just watch the teachers and my teachers are basically for all of my subjects i do this i just watch them work the questions right for example um my famous one of the most popular ones is curling springer yeah Christian springer so i'd watch his videos um for both the paper ones, both the paper twos, and whenever like he did those the lives or whatever, I just watch them basically. And to be honest, I feel like that saves time. I know why that saves time because in the last part, like close to the exam, yes, you should definitely do your past papers. But for me, what I did was this: instead of me like getting the past paper, especially the paper ones, instead of me getting the paper ones and sitting down spending one hour 30 minutes um doing that paper one what i would do is just spend that same one hour and 30 minutes which i don't think you really would take that long but i would better just sit on watch a half an hour video with with him going through the questions and giving the correct answers because i spend that one hour and 30 minutes answer, answering those six questions which some of them might be wrong so how about i just watch the past paper where I'm getting the right answers, right? Because when I finish doing that past paper, like printed paper, now you know, I'm going to have to go through it and see what's wrong, what's right. That takes up a lot of time. So what I do, I'd watch him on YouTube. Let's watch him, or there's this other math teacher. Is it C is it CXC Mathematics? Something like that. Something like that is the name on YouTube. The person, the teacher's name is uh, Terry 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 David. Think, I think it's Terry David. He teaches um he teaches physics as well, right? I don't I'm not sure about chemistry, but I know he teaches physics as well. Yes, anyway, I'd watch him and just about any any teacher that popped up on YouTube, I'd just click on it and I'd watch them work the past papers for paper one and I'll basically get my answer. So I know the right answer and that was good enough for me. Right? So that is more when you're like cramming, like exam is literally the next day you're cramming. So you just watch them go through the past papers, like just go through as many past papers as I can. That's what I advise everyone to do. Go through as many past papers as you can. And as I said before, you can't do past papers for just one year. That now really makes much sense. And when I say that, I mean that's for paper one. Right? You can't really do past papers for one year because as I said, CAC has a bank of questions and what they do is um, the shuffle it, I think I think that they shuffle it and they choose 60 and you get 60 new questions basically. Yeah, 60 questions. 
so that's what they do so now for example you only did 2019 questions if that's your only like means of studying for the paper one then doing one year of past papers or one year of paper one won't really cut it basically so for me i would recommend from 2015 2016 2017 2018 2019 2020 2021 do those past papers Right? And the thing about it, these past papers, there are many teachers, there are many people on YouTube who work these past papers, they work them, the teachers, even for social studies, for social studies, um, there's a teacher, social studies with Soares, social studies with Soares, yeah, that's his name on YouTube. For example, he does a lot, he has a lot of social studies past papers and I think he teaches like tourism, some Cape tourism as well, something like that. Yeah, so they do all these past papers and all you have to do is just sit down and watch them and memorize the answer, right? To sit down and memorize the answer. So you just, you just sit down and you do from 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, right? You do as many as you can. And see when you do many past papers, there is a more chance or the frequency of questions on the exam that you recognize, right? Questions that you've seen before becomes more evident, more common basically. Like when you're going to exam, you're like, oh, I see, we see like Mr. Turk had question them before, we see them before, right? Because you did a lot of past papers, that's why you've seen them before on the previous series. So that's my advice, do past papers. I always say that, everybody says this, do past papers. For both the paper one and both the paper twos, cause and and also the paper ones will repeat. They always repeat basically. Alright, so just ensure that you're well prepared. And the way I see it is that um, the paper twos can be a challenge depending on the subject. So you have to find a way to like make the paper one kind of some like supplement your grade basically. So doing these past papers, especially for a paper one, will definitely help to do that. I think is it what 30% the paper one is 30% of your grade I think so and SB 20 like for majority of them and 50% um, paper two so try your best like do, try to just do your best on the paper one right so in case something on the paper two you never really answer or stuff like or you never answer correctly you know that your paper one grade can help make that up to give you your grade one okay so that's my first advice right there so do your past papers get them at tsecpasspapers.com if they don't have it check on youtube right in cxc mathematics past papers social studies past papers hsb past papers english language past papers um poa past papers pob past papers those right it past papers there are many teachers on YouTube who do these questions. They work them and they have these videos and it's 100% free. So guys, just go and check them out. I'll try to put like um, a thing in the description with all these teachers, all these people. And I'm basically mentioning in this video, I'll try to put put like a um, list in the description with all these teachers that I'm mentioning in this video. Oh.